on the show today will bring you the latest action from the Indian athletes preparing for the London Olympics, a look back at India's glory moment from the Athens Olympics and we find out what makes India's ace shuttler Saina Nehwal a world beater. Hello and a very warm welcome to all of you. You're watching Game for Gold and I'm Gaurav Kala. This is your one-stop show to everything Olympics. This is the show where Headlines Today brings you closer to our London-bound athletes. We bring you their training schedules, we share their dreams and aspirations and you get to know them that little bit better. So sit back and enjoy the ride as we bring you some of the best and the brightest athletes who will represent India at the London Olympics. Now the Indian badminton players were in action at the Singapore Open even as the men's archery team booked their Olympic ticket at the qualification tournament in Ogden, USA. Let's quickly look back at how the Indian athletes are preparing for the London Games. The Indian men's archery team qualified for the London Olympics after they finished second in the qualification competition held in Ogden, USA. The trio of Jayanta Taluka, Rahul Banerjee and Tarun De Bride rose to the occasion as they edged out Australia in the semi-final to book their London ticket. India lost to Japan in the final but they claimed the team spot by virtue of finishing amongst the top three teams in the meet. It will only be the second time after Athens Olympics in 2004 that India will have team representation in both the men's and women's categories in archery at the Olympics. Indian shuttlers were in action in the last tournament before the London Games at the Singapore Open Super Series. While Pika ship suffered an early exit, B. Diju and Juala Gutta managed to advance to the quarter-finals of the mixed doubles event. The Indian duo, however, went down fighting to second seed Hung Ling Chen and Wen Sing Cheng of China's Taipei in a thrilling three-game quarter-final. Indian athletes will be welcomed by the sight of giant Olympic rings when they touch down in London next month. The London Game organizers unveiled the rings at Heathrow Airport, the host airport of the Games, on Wednesday. The aluminium rings measure 12 meters in width, the same as a double-decker bus and have been installed in Terminal 5 of the international arrivals. Facebook has launched an official London Olympics page for fans to connect with their favourite athletes and teams. The online social networks Discover London 2012 page is a portal that connects users with the profile pages of hundreds of athletes, national teams and official organising bodies. Fans can support and interact with swimmer Michael Phelps, basketball stars LeBron James and Kobe Bryant and about 200 athletes already on the site. It is all part of an effort to turn the 2012 London Games into the first Social Olympics. <laughs> 